hello viewers i welcome you all to today's lesson you remember our last meeting on introduction to computers was on types of computers we learned the meaning of computer itself and we learned the three types of computers and we added some examples of the types of computers that we have now today's lesson is going to be on kinds of computers the kinds of computers let's get started now you remember one type of computers we learned was digital computers now the kinds of computers we're learning today are all digital computers now we have four kinds of computers they are supercomputers mainframe computers mini computers and micro computers let's take a quick look at these four kinds of computers Go. We are started on the supercomputers. Supercomputers are the most powerful type of digital computers. These kinds of computers are very huge in size and can occupy an entire room. It is used by a very large organization and uh, it is also used for scientific research, oil exploration, weather forecast, and then when it comes to building of weapons, I mean um, guns and then bombs for war, these kinds of computers are used. These kinds of computers are used. And we don't have some in Ghana here. They are not common. They are not common. If you go to US of A, um, you see some over there. Some examples are summit computers. We have Param computers and we have Cray computers. C R A Y Cray computers. Now on mainframe computers. Mainframe computers are also large and used by large organizations. Organizations like the banks, universities, Ghana Telecom, they use these kinds of computers. Yeah, we are not talking about the the branches of these institutions or this organization we are talking about their main office that takes the, the database of all other branches some examples are ibm 7094 and icl 2966 mini computers Many computers are digital computers that fall between mainframe computers and microcomputers because they fall within these kinds of computers. We sometimes call them mid range computers. They are small in size as compared to supercomputers and then mainframe, and they are less expensive too. Some examples are PDP 11 and VAX. Now on microcomputers, these kinds of computers are for personal use. Because they are for personal use, we sometimes call them personal computers. Among all the kinds of computers, the smallest one, I mean in size, are the microcomputers. Some examples of microcomputers are desktop computers, palm top and mobile phones. Lastly, you heard me say microcomputers are portable, which means you can carry along with it wherever that you go. Let's take desktop computer for instance. You cannot carry along with it when you are embarking on a journey. So for that matter, when you take micro computers, you can divide it into two. The first one is desktop computers. That's one is for the desk. You cannot carry along with it. And then the second one is the portable computers. This portable computer, that one you can carry along with it wherever that you go. You can even keep it in your pocket. For example, we have uh, the mobile phone, the smartphone, we have the notebook, uh, we have the laptop, and then we have the, the palm top. Don't get confused with the notebook that I mentioned. You see, we have some laptops, they are smaller in size. That, that one is the notebook. Now, thank you all for your time. Let's have a small um, revision on what we have learned so far. Uh, um, introduction to computers and after we take some questions